In this video, we will be discussing the five number summary and how to use the five number summary to create a box in Whiskerplot. Let's get started. All right, so what we have here is the five number summary um, for both the day and night. So for some context, first off, the five number summary um, is the minimum Q1, median Q3, and maximum. We'll discuss that a little bit more detail in a second. Uh, these are statistics for a set, uh, set of data, actually two sets of data. One set of data is for day and one set of data is for night. Day represents um, test scores for the day class, some sort of day class, doesn't really matter what day class it is, but the daytime class, we have a bunch of test scores and then we determine the minimum Q1, median Q3, and max. And similarly, we did the same thing for a night class. We found uh, the min Q1, median Q3, and max. So we have the five number summary for both of those sets of data. Okay, so let's discuss what each of these five, um, each of these statistics represent. So the minimum is the smallest value in a data set. And um, let's see, the, so the, the minimum and the maximum are pretty evident what they are by the name. Min is the smallest value, max is the largest value. And um, there's two different labelings I'm going to use here. There's the, uh, the percentile, I'll just put a percent symbol. And then these, there's the quartile. quartile. There's the percentile and the quartile. And let's look at what each of these are. So for the minimum, it's the zero percentile. It's the smallest value. Percentile represents the percentage of values that are less than or equal to that data value. So the data value of 32 is the minimum, so 0% of the data values are less than 32. Similar, uh, similarly for 25.5 for night. So the quartile, the quartile is, um, is, is the, um, we'll actually we'll discuss quartile in a moment. Q1 is, um, is the first, uh, first quartal, uh, quarter, the first quarter. Um, and so if we were talking about percentile for the first quarter, is the, it's the 25th percentile. It's a quarter of the way through the data set. And then median is the middle value. It's the 50th percentile. Q3 is the 75th percentile. So 75% of the data values are less than 82.5 and 89, each of the data sets. And then maximum is the largest value. Every single data value is less than or equal to 99. Okay, so for quartile, quartile is, um, is each quarter. So this is zero quarter, the first quartile, the second quartile, the third quartile, and the fourth quartile. You can think of this as quarters, like um, 25 cents, and we're thinking about a dollar is the entire whole dollar. If you have zero quarters, you're at the zero percentile of a dollar. You, you have zero percent of a dollar. If you have one quarter, you have 25% of a dollar. Two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, all the way up to four quarters where you have a full, uh, full, uh, full dollar, 100% of a dollar. Kind of how you can relate quartile to percentile. Okay, that's just a breakdown of what each of these represent. So if we have a data set, the middle data value, for example, the, the median is the middle of the data value. If you have it uh, ordered from smallest to largest, the middle value in your data set would be 74.5 for day and 81 um, for night. So just to kind of understand what these represent. I'm not going to discuss how to calculate them in, uh, in this video, but at least you have a, an idea of what they represent. Now we can use the um, these five number summaries to build a type of graph, and it's known as a box and whisker plot or a box plot. So the box plot, um, the box plot. First, you want to start out with um, the scaling. 
So we'll start out with that, and I'll start on, uh, and you can build both box plots for both sets of data on top of each other. So what we'll start out with is, since we're, this is the scaling of grades, we're going to start out with just 0 up to 100. So we'll have 0, 10, 20, and you want to kind of space them equally. Okay, and now um, we would start out uh, uh, putting dots. Uh, we're going to start out with the day. Um, actually, we'll do night first for, for the bottom graph. So 25.5, we'll put a dot there right along here. Oops. And then we'll put 78 for Q1 for a dot, 78. Make sure it's like horizontally on the same plane. Right around here, and 81, um, 89, and 98. And then we'll just draw, um, we'll start out with drawing a square, a rectangle, connecting Q1 and Q3. And then a vertical line for the median, and then what we you do is you draw lines from uh, the minimum to Q1 and Q3 to the max. Okay, now um, we want to draw the the box and whisker plot for for day. So let's use a different color. Well, blue, and we have 32. 56. We have 74.5, which would be over here. Make sure again it's on the same horizontal line here. Um, and then 82.5, right around there, and 99. Right there. All right, and then we draw from. Q1 to Q3, you draw a rectangle, and a vertical line at the median, and min to Q1, and then Q3 to um, the max. And what's nice about this is, um, rather than just looking at the numbers in, in a chart like this uh, above that was given, we can now more easily, more visually see how the day and night class compare. We can tell that um, that a lot of the mass of the data between Q1 and Q3 for the day is more spread out than, than, um, than uh, Q1 and Q3 for night. It's more condensed in the middle of, of the data set. And then we can also tell that uh, between the uh, for, for the night class um, that between the minimum and Q1, um, the first quartile, it's way more spread out there uh, compared to the day class. And um, yeah, you, you, you can just do, you can more easily compare uh, the, the data sets when, when you see it in a graph like this. So anyways, um, yeah, I hope this helps and